just finishing my first coffee off of the day. It's an awesome day outside, and I decided I'm gonna record a microphone video today. And those don't seem to do very good on my channel, so if you clicked on this and don't like microphone videos, click on the card up there and watch my new video called Only Idiots Like Rock and Roll. And if not, stick around. You can watch that after this video, because today we are gonna talk about my new microphone, which is the Shure SM7B. If you're like many people out there, you're trying to start a YouTube channel, podcast, and whatnot, and you want some high quality audio, 10 chances to one, you've come across the Sure SM7B. Super iconic mic. It's also used to record Thriller by Michael Jackson, which is um, kind of a heavy hitting record. Anyway, so when anybody trying to start off any kind of vocal recording, any kind of voiceover kind of stuff, you're going to need an interface and most people are going to do this. They're gonna go buy a Focusrite interface. Like the one I have in the background, which is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i4. I'm pretty happy with it overall, but mostly I've been using it to record guitars and stuff from my Camper Profiler. I like it because it has game pads and whatnot. But when you start working with a dynamic microphone, you are gonna find out is that a dynamic microphone and the Focusrite mic preamps are a little quiet. You turn your gain knob all the way up. You're not really getting a whole lot of sound from your microphone and you're adding a whole lot of noise to your sound mix. And we don't want that. So there's a solution to our problem. And it is this thing it is the Cloud Microphones CL1 Mic Activator or otherwise known as the cloud lifter. What the cloud lifter is going to do is add 20 to 25 decibels of clean boost to your signal with no added noise. And what last thing you want in a good audio recording is any kind of noise. Or we don't want to be going into post processing, getting rid of all that noise and just damaging what we're doing with a sub subtractive EQ and whatnot. Cloud lifter is definitely going to help you out a lot. Highly recommend it. As soon as they got that, the Sure SM7B came alive and I'm really happy with the audio quality that I'm getting from this thing. Let's talk about the settings that I'm using right now to get the sound from the SM7B RAW. So my mic is set to flat response in the back and on my interface, I have the gain pad turned off. We don't need the gain pad for this. That's not very good. This is a very quiet mic. We've already boosted the signal with the cloud lifter. We don't wanna be bringing that down at least not for speaking. I set the gain knob to two o'clock. I could turn it way down, but we don't hear it near as much. This is what it sounds like at noon. And this is what it sounds like way up. So we're getting a lot more clipping here. But if I roll that back to about two o'clock, it sounds really nice. And I can't complain about it. It actually sounds pretty awesome. So, and one thing that I'll be doing after the fact is adding some EQ to my voice. The reason I bought the Shure SM7B, A, I do a lot of talking in videos and I figured this would work very well when I'm not doing something like tone testing or some sort of reaction video where I'm playing guitar at the same time. Um, two, I wanna record some actual good vocals with this thing, so we'll be setting up a vocal booth. I like the dynamic mic. I actually really like the sound of this thing. You don't have a lot of room noise with this microphone, which is really good, but that's not a reason to not treat your room. That's actually gonna be one of the things that I'm going to be doing here soon enough. I used to use compression microphones. I still will be probably using the compression microphone where it picks up a whole lot more room noise, but I like my Shure SM7B because because I can plug it into an interface and easily adjust the gain controls with a knob. I had a real tough time working with this old discontinued condenser mic that works, runs USB to do any kind of setting adjustments like that. It's much louder than a dynamic mic. It does the job, but I much prefer the Shure SM7B audio at this point. So one last thing I'm gonna recommend getting if you're gonna get the Shure SM7B or any kind of microphone for doing audio recording like this that's not a lavalier mic, is get one of these Rode PSA-1 boom arms. And I recommend not getting the cheap Amazon ones. Yes, you're gonna save some money. You're gonna save some money, but only now. If that thing breaks on you, you're gonna be buying another one. You don't wanna be buying 
a whole bunch of these different things. When it comes to mic stands, tripods, and that kind of stuff, sometimes you can get away with it, but I highly recommend just getting the Rode Boom Arm. There are many other options to stabilize your mic. I really like the Rode Boom Arm. However, you can get little things for your desk and whatnot. Do what's right for you, but stabilize your mic so you don't have to hold it and you can talk with your hands like me. Yeah. So if you guys have made it this far into the video, tell me what microphone you were using to record your podcast or the audio for your YouTube videos or recording vocals. Tell me what you think. What are you using for an interface? What settings are you using? Are you happy with it? I would like you guys to come up over here, click the subscribe button, click the like button, and any of the videos in the links below or linked into this video, and definitely check out my new video, Only Idiots Like Rock and Roll. And for now, you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you guys all in the next video. See ya, peace.